We're back in Nigeria for the Abuja E3. Sebastian Ocampo is on pole from Yuki Suo and Revo. Then it's Akari, the closest margin between the top four we have ever seen in this championship. Then it's Jaco Tigranis, Lawless the Clerk, Ionet Famnus, and David Camino. Your top eight. Then it's T Gabo, best ever qualified position. Then it's Salas Kynes, Marcus Nelson, Daniel Baltasar, of only 12th for him. Teodor Schumacher, you cable, Pastor Malonado, Daph Sanchez, Leo, MF1 World, Bob, Vashi Chantan, iWorld, and Mil Rez. After an entire a championship head spin last time out. That's Sorokari take the lead. Pull five lights go on in Nigeria. We go green for the Abuja E3. And Yuki Suo got off to an amazing start up the line. He's already into the lead ahead of the championship contender. Championship leader Akari up into third from fourth on the grid. Tries to fight it against Rainbow and potentially against the Ocampo for the second position. But it is Sebastian. You know, Carvalho well has come off worse from Paul to third. Yuki Suo to the race lead in that and thrown in Toyota. But Ocampo sends it. What a move from fourth to first. Suo back up to second half. And Raymo fighting the Ronin Toyota. He's got a car alongside you. Cable with a five second time penalty. I expect to see a lot more of those. Akari, he currently in third position. He would drop outside of the championship lead as I would. It's that, and right now, I can tell so many of you guys watching this with Yuri, but it's absolutely amazing. We enter the final sector of this first lap. It is Sebastian Ocampo from Yuki Suo in Revo. Akari currently P4, or quite a ways ahead of Lawless Leclerc for what it is worth. I really cannot believe what happened last time out. And Ocampo has amended for that major blunder last time here comes Akari however on board with the number 10 pinnacle car he's not getting too much of a slipstream benefit on lap 2 of 14 another 14 lap race today as Ravo he's trying to close in on 2 -0. Akari's got nothing with that pinnacle car he's checked out he's currently just holding on to 4th place this is a track where the attrition rate is high most drivers do end up finishing this race as we now look to some more team radio. We've got some from Akari. The actual voice radio. Let's see if we can get this up. If I can. It's absolutely insane. The top four. Oh, Ocampo from Suo from Revo. Yeah. Not too much that Akari can say from all of this. On lap 2 of 14. And on board with Raybo. Top four still as it was on the start, by the way. But it's all about really the strategy around here. This track and strategy go hand in hand. There is nothing else apart from strategy around this track. There is only one attack mode activation point, but it is the second longest on the calendar. Or third longest actually. Third to Baku. And far as here comes Yuki Suo, the Japanese of the 19 takes the lead in of the E3. Lawless Leclerc actually following this train into the lead goes Suo. So Ocampo's dropped off but behind the race lead. He, but now he's trying to close in again. Akari to third position right behind the Andretti car. There goes Akari! He's side by side with Ocampo now. My goodness me! How is he managing this? He's going to have the inside line coming into this airbin. Can he hold on to third at least? He's holding on to third. Thankfully. But here he comes. Here he comes. Can Akari close in any further? Yeah, there is not too much more that Akari can really do. He's going to try and send it. He's not quite got the pace in that pinnacle car to send it on him. But can he try and find another place to do it? Raybo is holding off Lawless Jaclerc. He is holding off the number 16. You know, and here comes Akari trying to find a way around the outside. Into the pits, overcome the race leaders. Tyward 
Uh, as it was last time out, a big talking point around the circuit. Take a look at them. And Fabinus leading the way. Gabo second. Nelson third. Baltasar fourth. All talking about ages in the Discord. That's a little sus. But now Nelson right on the back. On the tailgate. Of Gabo. If we can just get on board. Yes, we are on board finally with the Nissan Nismo. We're taking a look at this. Gabo, ecstatic in P2. Got 10 laps left to run here under the lights in Abuja. And the question is, can we just see a little more pace in that Nissan Nismo car? Look, you would look further back with Ocampo and Akari, but there's not too much to look at. Ocampo is actually closer to Suo. And, you know, notes on all of this, by the way. Hey, since everyone in the server is talking about ages, I might as well mention it here. D-Dragon Sonic is the youngest race, race winner in the championship so far. As into the pits. Oh, dear me. So many more cars coming in. These tires are not holding up. Vachi Tan Tan is leading. <laughs> Holy moly. This is what happens when your tires wear out faster than my jokes. Vashi Chan Tan leading the way from Yuki Suo and Sebastiano Ocampo. But here comes Ocampo. He's going to send it down the inside. He's going to try and get through. And he does. Second place for Sebastiano Ocampo. And that race lead for Sebastiano Ocampo. And that is how to take in that race lead very easily. However, for Vashi Chan Tan. For the number 22 car, it's all about how close he can really stay away from Ocampo. And if he can go very long on those medium tires. 22%! 22% mediums. Oh my goodness me. Rookie driver leading. And as he now comes into the final two turns. As Yuki Suo now on the back of Sebastian Ocampo. And uh, yeah, I'm a minor, that's all you need to know. I don't want to say my name, my age in the theater. As here comes Mzrevo on the back of Akari. Akari, he's really dropped off in the back of Suo as well. He's three seconds off the back. Vashi Chan has come in. As here comes Suo. Revenge! Japanese revenge! For so Ocampo with a new fast flat. Can't really see the time. But there goes Suo, he sends it, he spies his way up into the lead of the E3, but Toyota Gazoo racing car takes the lead once more as Akari drops the fourth. He needs to try and get past Bravo if he wants to hold on to his hopes of winning a championship. So if it was to finish with Ocampo second and Akari third, they would be level on points heading into the final two rounds. Two rounds? Two rounds of the season. Two rounds and they're level on points. It this is shades of season five. We are living back in season five. We are back in the fifth season of the FEMC. But that is only if Akari can get past because Suo is currently leading the C3 from a Campo, Revo, and Akari. Team radio lines are going. Wild. Gabo expects. And well, he's expecting quite a lot. But that Nissan Nismo car, not too quick. He's trying to get past them. F1 while he's been forced very wide there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is what happens when you allow drivers to talk to each other. So, Ravo is going to offset his strategy. Halfway distance, and he's going on to this could pay off. This could work then. As Ocampo now to the lead of the E3 once again. Lee taking the lead from 2 0. It's 
It's gonna fight. It's quite. It's been quite the fight for the race lead we've been watching here. With Shiro right on the back, the number 19 for Toro Sadazi racing. Still fighting each other. And it's Harley, who's just really just sitting in third place by himself right now because Manny was fighting over that position with Ravo. He's coming to the pits, he's come on 20th. And it's all about right now. It's all about if Suo can just close in. If anything happens to these two, if they were to tangle, Akari would pounce on it. He would take the biggest advantage possible. He would be leading this race. Worst case scenario, he'd be 18. He'd be 18 points up. An additional 18 points up. That would be 21 points. But this is definitely feeling so much like season five is into the pits come the top three and one of the ones has to come in and they chose Kamino I don't know if that's the right choice or not because UK Bulls struggling out there uh so it's UK Ball from from Tan from Schumacher from Babinus and we're looking at these three Babinus currently with the inside they're all we're using that normal racing line Babinus Sending it wide. Look at the guy behind them, though. Whoa! Look at that four-way fight for fifth. I can't believe these guys are getting to have four ways though. I will. He's going to try and die with that Mercedes. Ah, oh, he just chooses not to the there because of what Bob the Sarv was doing right ahead of him. He was trying to defend while simultaneously attack Bob. He's defending the inside line quite well from the blue CS Andretti car. And Ravo, by the way, he's jumped him. He's jumped him. Oh! Ravo's jumped to Campo. Wow, that's insane. Well done, Hyperdrive Racing. What a strategy that decision it was to call, to call Ravo in first. They're going to have to keep calling him in a lap before the guy's uh, ahead of him. But that's not going to matter too much. When he's going to get past this quite quickly here. This is actually helping out Akari quite a bit as well because if Ocampo is right ahead of him he's gonna hold the championship lead unless it's a one two as there goes Ocampo ahead of that silver and black hyperdrive car Singapore Crawley for F1 in a few hours as oh this is always funny to see half the field stay out half the field come in we are nine laps into this E3. Five to go. Suo from Revo from Ocampo from Atari. That is your top four. Ocampo with the fastest lap, which will give him one more point and will give him back the championship lead heading into the last 50 points gainable in this championship. Akari, he didn't try to do the undercut. Instead, it was Revo trying to do the undercut. Uh, but Revo, he's 1.1 seconds off the back of Yuki Suo. That gap is stable. That is a very stable gap. Yuki Suo, the Japanese driver in the number 19 car, could wind up with a race win today. That would be quite... That would be quite the finish. That would be quite the finish. See, as here comes Ravo, side by side with Ocampo coming through. Ocampo with the outside, Ravo with the inside. And Ravo is going to have to go to the in. He's going to have to stay on the outside, rather. As Ocampo takes second. Ocampo up into second position. Four laps left in the C3 as Ravo pits again. I would have expected Akari to also peel in, but... You know, I can't win them all. Camo's also in. Fastest lap going to Akari, who is trying to close in on his biggest championship rival. He is leading the championship so far as Akari. But he needs a lot more than that. He needs quite a bit more than that. So we're looking at this. It's duo from Ocampo from Akari. We are still waiting. Waiting. This is really quite the, the edge of your seat race here in Abuja today. It's such... Um, it's so incredible. Well, as Mule Ray is setting up off the sector. 
It's always meal res setting quick sex of time, especially here in Abuja, whenever you can get into the, get onto the track. As here we go, coming to the final three turns. I think the top three might have to hit. I think if they don't hit, if drivers who don't come into the pits in the next few laps don't hit, they're going to struggle. If you put it on lap 12, you're going on to soft tyres, that will take you on to take you to the end of the race. But if you pit now for soft tyres, that's not good. That's not good in the slightest. Gabo, he's currently, be told, he's currently being told that that would currently be a P5 for him. He might actually be leading. Oh my god. Gabo's coming in, so that will be UK ball leading the way. And Gabo will currently hold second, but he'll need to come into the pit one more time else risk a puncture so drivers coming out of pit, lo pit lane now let's take a look at all of this that is Suo from Ocampo from Akari rare is Raybo Raybo coming down the main straight now and he's ahead of Akari once again strategical masterclass from Hyper Drive Racing and luckily this time their driver sh should be able to make it to the end of the race with little difficulty trying to find a way past Sanchez now Suo is definitely gonna win this race now I cannot imagine a scenario where the number 19 fails to win it's absolutely amazing what they've been able to do with that Toyota Gazoo car but remember with three laps left to run it's not over until the checkered flag falls you are looking at a campo currently 13th still Sanchez on his tail but he's probably has he will have to pit again Raybo currently 15 and his tires are definitely going to be screaming by the last lap of the E3 and that's side by side between Sanchez and Rebo 4 14 there they go Milrez fast the second sector is into the pit comes well we've seen this almost always half the field coming into the pit UK ball is staying out there He's playing a game of hold it long and stick it. He's playing the most dangerous game you can play. As there goes Yuki Suo. Can he take second? Side by side. There he goes. Suo to second position. Fashi Chantan has dropped to third. And he's holding up both Carpenter for good measure. He's held up the reigning champion. He's going to have to dive. He does dive. What a dive it will be. And it has been for Sebastiano Campo to take third from Bashi Chantan. And Raybo, who currently in fifth position, quite a way back from these guys. Akari has finally caught back up to these guys. This fight for the potential race win. But remember, you cable is still out there leading this race. If he doesn't pit and at the end of lap 13, he is not coming into the pit, and these mediums will see him to the end of the race. But the question is, is he going to... Is he going to have a punk shot? Will he finish the race if he doesn't pit? We're going to look now with the Braun Honda number 89 car. If he came into the pits, he would come out It's still in the top 10, and he does come into the pits. You can see that's the white pit line. So it will be Yuki Suo from Ocampo. Does Vashi-chan come in? Thankfully, he does come into the pit. Revo is still out there. This is going to be for the third position. Can he do it? They've both got attack mode. He's going to have the slipstream. He's going to have the inside line. Here he comes. And he sent it down the inside. Hakari, the third position to hold on to a potential World Drivers Championship lead. But Ocampo, he's three times up as the race lead. He can taste 25 points. 25 points over Akari. He's 15. That would give him 10 points extra and would see him lead the championship by all of 7 points. It would just be a race lead. But it will be a race lead in dearly rem remiss for Akari. It would be a race lead gap between first and second. That 7 points. But it's all about once. It comes down to the line. It's the penultimate lap. They're going to start the final lap. Ocampo could win this race. Ravo has dropped off at the back. The Italian is not fighting Akari. His tyres have gone. It's gone for Ravo. He cannot fight for a podium today. 
two for Ocampo. They're going to go side by side down the main straight. Attack mode for Ocampo. Nothing but sheer hope and goodwill for Yuki Suo. And that's the race lead for Sebastian Ocampo. Now for Suo, it's all about can he close in? Can he stay in touch with Ocampo on this final lap here in Abuja? It's been a show-stopping, nail-biting race the entire way through and we haven't even had a single dnf throughout the entire race it is ocampo leading the way from yuki suo and akari and reiro is currently fourth meal rice is fifth it's always a good race for meal rice if he can just string it together fastest first sector going to meal rice so ocampo if he drops the second cannot really rely on a fastest flat because meal rice will likely take it but Suo, he's still on the back as we now enter the final sector for the final time in the C3. Vashi Chantan setting a fastest first sector of anyone. Can and Yuki Suo try and find a way through? It's going to most likely be a drag race down to the start finish. Tries to go around the outside. Doesn't quite work. So now coming into the final turn here in Abuja. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Suo on the inside. Okampo on the outside. Attack mode for Suo. Who's it going to be? Two cents! And Sebastian Ocampo wins the Abuja E3. Atari is third. Emil Red's fourth. Rainbow is fifth. Having lost out this. And the cable comes home with the fastest lap. A 110-616. That's absolutely amazing. Ocampo once again wins another dead heat. He's the master of dead heats in this championship. First it was... And Jacko Tigrano comes home with a faster slap. He was, he was flying though. But this is the podium man. Sebastian Ocampo retakes the championship lead from Akari, the man who finished third, with Yuki Suo splitting the two Philippine drivers. Then it's Miel Rez, Ravo, David Camino, U Cable, Teodor Schumacher, the top eight. Then it's Salas Kynes and Lala Chaclet, your point scorers. Then you have MF1 World, Leo, Ina Badness, I World, Pastor Malnado, T Jabo, Bob, Vashi Chantan, Daf Sanchez, Marcus Nelson, Daniel Boxasarov, and Jacko Tigranes. In the driver's standings, the number one reclaims the top of the pile. Then it's Akari, Ravo, Emil Rez, U Cable, and Daf Sanchez, the top six all over 100 points. Then it is Daniel Bogdasar of Yuki Suo, Ionet Fabinus, and David Kamino, currently the drivers going into the playoffs, the fight for a championship. Then it is Jacko Tigranes, Teodo Shimaka, Leo, Pastor Malnado, I Will, Gabo, Marcus Nelson, Vashi Chantan, MF1, well, Bob, and Lalo Chaclerk tied on points, and Salas Kynes. In the Constructors' Championship, going into the penultimate round in Bucharest, in Romania, DS Andretti lead the way from Pinnacle Formula E team and Hyperdrive Racing. Then it's Toyota Gazoo Racing, Braun Honda Grand Prix, Renault Edams, uh, Lamborghini Mako, Skoda Volkswagen, Jaguar Mercedes Formula E team, one point ahead of Nissan Nismo. We'll see you guys next time then, when the Formula E Monoposto Championship returns in Bucharest.